This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. Will there be a Brexit in the near future? And will this be catastrophic for the British people? The answer is yes, in both cases. First, I'd like to give you a brief overview over the most recent developments. Here's an article by Deutsche Welle dated January 15, saying, The UK Parliament on Tuesday voted to reject an agreement on Britain's withdrawal from the European Union in the biggest ever defeat of a modern government in the House of Commons. It was a major blow of Prime Minister Theresa May and her Brexit plans. The European Union will intensify its preparations for a scenario in which Britain leaves the bloc without a withdrawal agreement. The risk of a disorderly withdrawal of the United Kingdom has increased with this evening's vote. Newsmax added on January 15, British lawmakers were triggering political chaos. The United Kingdom is now ensnared in the deepest political crisis in half a century. The humiliating loss appeared to catastrophically undermine May's two-year strategy of forging an amicable divorce with close ties to the United or to the EU after the March 29 exit. So the point being, it's not going to be very amicable anymore, and the relationship between the EU and Britain will deteriorate rapidly. Here's an article by Deutsche Welle, dated January 16. There is no guarantee of a good outcome, but this shows Brexit's unprecedented destructive power. It is not tearing apart the European Union, as expected, but rather it's tearing Britain apart. Brexit will likely prove the country's greatest disaster. Built online, wrote on January 16, it's over. How can the island leave the European Union without sinking itself? In the course of the negotiations with a very united EU, from Hungary to Germany and Italy, the British Prime Minister was toppled. That's why re-elections also would not help, and neither would a second referendum. It goes on to say it's sad to witness the tarnishing of the future of the proud United Kingdom. Of course, one can stop the clock and continue to negotiate, but what will talking achieve? That's why the title of this program is The End of the British Empire. And also we said, time to let Britain go. Now that's something the Spiegel wrote on January 18, saying this, the EU should let the British go. Instead of continuing to run after the Brits, in the hope they might give their blessing to a deal after all, Europeans should just allow a hard Brexit to come to pass and focus their energies on preparing for the fallout. Der Spiegel has joined many others in the past in arguing that Brexit is a mistake and that Europe is stronger with the UK as a member. At the best of times, Britain made the EU a better place. But now the EU risks allowing Britain to cause lasting damage to the community's already weakened foundations. When it comes to solving its problems, be it migration, currency reform, or more importantly, an American president who is increasingly hostile to the bloc, the EU cannot afford to allow itself to be held hostage by Britain. The consequences of a no-deal Brexit would of course be unpleasant, but hardly a disaster, at least not for the EU, the magazine writes. And we have said for many, many years, decades, that a Brexit, of course we didn't use that word, but the concept that Britain will leave the EU will happen. Because the Bible tells you so. The Bible tells you and me, my friends, that ultimately continental Europe under the leadership of a very charismatic, powerful military leader, will attack, attack, militarily attack, 
Great Britain and also the United States of America. We see more and more a desire of Europe to build a unified army. People may say, oh, well, that could never happen. Well, here's an article by Reuters, dated January 19. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said on Saturday about the European Union, it is good that after several decades we want to develop a common defense system. We must develop weapons systems together, adding Europe had many more systems than the United States. Did you get that? They already have more weapon systems than the United States. Putting all of that together, they're already more powerful militarily than the United States. Not even speak of Britain. The Bible says very clearly the EU is going to attack militarily the United States of America and Great Britain. And you know what? They will win that war. We have prepared a free book that's the Great Tribulation and the Day of the Lord, which tells you from the pages of the Bible that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's why Brexit is an absolute must. It's going to happen. It doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter how they are trying to twist and turn these things. It's going to happen because the Bible is God's word and the Bible doesn't lie. Because God doesn't lie. You need to know what's going to happen. It's going to happen in the very near future. So Brexit is going to occur. Europe is going to unite completely, totally, militarily under a very charismatic leader. And World War III is going to be around the corner. Thank you very much for listening. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.